Hi guys, so today I'm going to show my DC Extended Universe collection. I did one last year, but it was only up to Zack Snyder's Justice League. And with the Suicide Squad coming out on DVD and Peacemaker, I think it's time for an update. And I won't get this video out because Black Adam will be out um, next week. So this video will be going out on Friday. So, so yeah, um, I'm going to go through all of the movies and um, uh, Peacemaker. I'm gonna go for all of them. I'm gonna tell how I thought about them. This one's gonna be different than how I usually do collection videos, so I'm gonna go for all of them. I'm gonna tell how I thought about them. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna go through them. Um, we all started 2013. We had Man of Steel. Um, this is the slip cover when when they were doing Aquaman. We had these slip covers. Um, it had the stick of Aquaman, but it was it was going to the side, so I just took it off. Um, we have a picture of Superman. This came in 2013. Um, so yeah, so 12, there's the side, and there's the, there's the back, and, um, picture description, it's on for 137 minutes, it's 12 mode of violence, pseudo-win plus 12 nova, not be sweating because of blood age, so it's managed, so, it's the cover, it's the side, it's the back, uh, there's the ultraviolet, which has been used. All the ultra, all, all of them have been used. All the codes have been used. And there's the, the disc has the Superman symbol, logo. So as Man of Steel, I love this movie. I think it's referring Henry Cavill, which is great as Superman. Um, I just love this movie. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this movie. I really love it. I enjoy it. And uh, I hope they do a sequel to this um, in the future. But uh, we've heard news that um, Henry Cavill is going to show up for Black Adam, which I'm looking, looking forward to that. So that's Man of Steel. Um, 2016 we had Batman vs Superman um, you can see here it has the Aquaman the December 14th the sticker and yeah, Batman and Superman it's a 12 that's the side and there's the back pictures special features yeah Batman and Superman Wonder Woman it's on for 145 minutes and it's 12 motor vines threat and um, yeah this is the theatrical version so so that's what is the the Leafland Ultraviolet, and then it shows continue your journey to DC Universe. In the back, you have advertising for Suicide Squad, and um, the disc, you have the Batman logo, and you have the Superman logo in front of it. So, BBS, um, I don't like the theatrical version, I love the ultimate version, which is three hours. This one is two hours, I think 30 minutes. The ultimate cut is three hours, which I have on Google Play. I've seen it, I love that one way more because all the, they cut out all the best, all the important parts if you watch the ultimate card to you um, watch it it'll be it's way better so um yeah there's Batman vs Superman I love this movie I know this one is more this one is more hated than Man of Steel but I love this one I think this one is a great um then also in 2016 we had Suicide Squad um so I have the sticker and um yeah it's a 15 and there's the side and there's the back picture of the Joker it feels good to be bad. It's on 180 minutes. It's 15 sustained threat mode of violence. Just slip cover. And there is. Then you get the ultraviolet. And then you also have continue your journey into DC Universe. And back you have an advertisement one on I like how it has the advertisement for the next movie. And then there's the disc. Just Suicide Squad. So Suicide Squad, um, I don't like this movie. It just I feel like it's just a mess. The way it's edited and all the they were trying to make it like Guardians of the Galaxy because if you watch the original um trailer it had the Bohemian Rhapsody and then you can see that they sent it to a trailer um company and they just changed the whole movie and they cut out so many like stories and um, I like Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. I thought Violet Davis was great as Amanda Waller and I love Will Smith as Deadshot but Jared Leto he wasn't in it that much, so um, a lot of people um, asking for the air cut. I don't know if it will happen, but I just really don't like this movie. Then that's Suicide Squad. Then, then 2017, we had Wonder Woman. Um, a picture of Wonder Woman. You have the sticker. Um, it's a 12. There is the side, and there is the back. Um, it's a picture of special features. It's on for 135 minutes. as 12 more runners. So, yeah. So, the cover, the side, 
the back. So yes, I love Wonder Woman. Um, is the ultraviolet, and then continue your journey to the DC universe. The back have advertisement for Justice League, and then just tell you some other DC stuff you can get. And then um, is the disc. So I love Wonder Woman. This was my favorite DC movie. It's my second favorite. I really love this movie. For Gal Gadot, is great as Wonder Woman. She's really good in this movie. I love Steve Trevor as um. I love um, Chris Pine and Steve Trevor. I love the chemistry between them. This is probably my second favorite. This was my favorite. I really love this movie. You should check it out. Um, this is this is a really good movie. A lot of people like this one. And um, yeah, I saw this in cinemas. I really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, so that's Wonder Woman. Great movie. Then also in 2017, we had Justice League. Um, and so yeah, this came out in 2017. There's tw 12. There's the side. There's the back. Special features, it's 150 minutes, it's a tour of murder, fancy violence. Cover. Oh, well, I like this artwork, it has all six of them with the members there. There's the side, there's the back. There's the ultraviolet, and then so the leaflet, continue your journey, DC Universe, back. Advertisement for Aquaman, it's in the month of December 2018. So you have a DC stuff you can get, and um, so yeah, and um, there is the disc. So yeah, just Lee. Uh, I don't like this movie. I feel like it's just a mess, just a Frankenstein monster of a movie. Um, I don't want to get into it. Basically, Zack Snyder he did the movie, and um, basically his daughter committed suicide. So then he left production, and they brought Joss Whedon in, and basically Warner Brothers fired him, and they and they used the death of his daughter to cover up the fire him. So then the movie was already shot, and then basically Joss Whedon came in and finished the movie. So I don't like this movie. I saw this in cinemas. I I thought it was okay, but the more I watch it, the more it's just it's just not. There's some good things about it. I liked. Um, the ending with um, Lex Luthor and um, Deathstroke doing that about um, them assembling a team, and I also liked the Flash and Superman racing, and I think that's pretty much it. I just don't like this movie. So yeah, that is just Lee. Then in 2018 we had Aquaman, which um, yeah, have a picture of Aquaman in mirror, and you have Shazam in cinemas now. So 12. There's the side, and there is the back. Goes DVD, digital download. Um, visually wild and recklessly inventive, thoroughly entertaining. It's on 138 minutes. It's taught murder violence, it's seen scenes of sustained threat, and um, slip cover, side, and um, so back. Ultraviolet. And then you get to continue your journey to DC Universe Park. You have advertisement for design. Just say the word in cinemas now. And tell you how DC stuff can get. And um, the disc. See, I love Aquaman. Jason Momoa was great in this movie. You have William Dafoe. You have Nicole Kidman. They were great in this movie. Amber Heard was okay, but um, yeah, I realized it's made a billion dollars. First DC movie to make billion dollars. I thought it was okay. I still think it's cheesy in some areas. Um, I'm looking forward to the sequel. James Wan did a great job with this movie, and yeah. Um, you, I should check it out. The the effects in this are great. I saw this in cinemas. The the effects and underwater was just so great. Some scenes is good. Some scenes is not. But if you have the, if I highly recommend if you have the 3D Blu-ray, you should get the 3D. I think it will be great. It will be so much. It will be so much great if you have the 3D version. So that's Aquaman. And then in 2019 we had Shazam, which is um, yeah Shazam, yeah Freddy. Yeah, um, so 12, this game 2019, there is the side, and there is the back, we have 4 star, a total blast, a ton of fun, special features, you have pictures there, so on, 426 minutes, it's told murder, virus, threat, horror, innuendo, bleep, strong language, so cover, side, to the back, we we'll continue your journey to the DC Universe, back, we have a time for Birds of Prey, come soon. And it just tell you, and it shows you some other DC stuff you can get. And then here's the disc. So it's Shazam, love this movie. Saw it in cinemas. I really enjoy it. It's one of the best. One of my favorites. My third favorite DC movie. I really love this. It was really great. I like the family dynamic. I thought Zachary Levi was great as Shazam. And Asha Angel was good as Billy Batson. Um, love the story. It was heartfelt. I liked how we had the balance between the 
light and dark and I highly recommend you check this is a really good entertaining movie I'm looking forward to the sequel next year which is I'm Fear of the Gods and I hope David S. Samba did great in this movie and I hope he does great in this movie so yeah that is Shazam and then 2020 we had Birds of Prey and there's, there's Margot Robbie, Mary Elizabeth Weinstead, Johnny Smollett Bell, Rosie Perez, Chris Messina, L.A.J. Basco, Ali Wong and Neil McGregor just the cover it's came in 2020, it's 15. It's the first one to have the new 15 on it. It's the first one to have the new um, BBFC 15 on it. So it has the side, the back. A four star. Margot Robbie's brilliant as Harley Quinn. Special features. Yeah, pictures on 104 minutes. And it's 15 Sean Barnes. Injury detail, language, sexual threat. There is the back. Uh, slope cover and there. Same as the slope cover. And then. You have advertisement for Wonder Woman 84 coming soon. Back shows you some more DC, um, more DC stuff. And then you have advertisement for Watchmen, Wonder Woman, and uh, Suicide Squad. And then here's the disc. This is Birds of Prey. I enjoyed it. I know a lot of people don't like this one. Um, I've had a problem with Birds of Prey. I just didn't know what to want it to be. It was like a Harley Quinn movie featuring Birds of Prey. I remember in cinemas it was hot. It was, it's called Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. But then a week after it came out, they changed it to Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. And um, yeah, this movie's okay. Um, I'm looking forward to. They're doing a Black Canary spin off. I'm looking forward to that. I enjoyed this movie. And so, yes, Birds of Prey. Yeah. And also in 2020, we had Wonder Woman 1984, which um, is going in 2020. Five star. I love this artwork. It's a 12. There's the side. There's the back. Fast forward to the 1980s, as Wonder Woman's next big screen adventure finds her facing a wide array of f foes, including Matt Sword, Lord and Cheetah, the feel good blockbuster we all need right now. It's not 145 minutes, it's a 12 murder, threat, violence, scenes of domestic abuse. Uh, it's a slip cover off, cover, side, back. And then you have advertisement for the Batman and Suicide Squad, the back, you have. Advertisement for Suicide Squad Kill the Just League Gotham Knights and then shows you a Batwoman, Supergirl, um, Watchmen, Batman, Son of the Dragon, Wonder Woman and Justice League. And um then here's the disc. So yeah, Wonder Woman, I don't like this movie. Um I was really excited for this one because I love the first one so much. I just didn't like the story. I thought there was no action in it. Um I didn't like how they brought Steve Trevor. Okay. Um, he basically comes back, but he's another person. But he's in someone else's body, and I just didn't like it. I thought the story was just... I don't know what they're going to do with one or three. Um, Patty Jenkins, um, who's coming back to direct it. I don't know if he's going to write it. But it's one of four. It's not the worst movie. I think it's... It's not as good as the first one. I think it's just disappointing. So yeah, that's one of them in 1984. Then in, 20, or, then in 2021, we had Zack Snyder's Justice League. Um, this was the big one. This was um, we were in Helmet four years for this, and it, it came on HBO Max. Finally got on, D on DVD last year, and um, yes, this was what Zach was we were supposed to do with Justice League, and we finally got his vision. And um, yeah, I love this artwork. You have all the Justice League members there, and you have Dark Side. Um, you have Dark Side there. A five star. One of the most spectacular superhero movies ever made is a fifteen. There is the side, and there is the back. Um, yeah, five star, glorious, thrilling, and beautiful. It's on for 230 minutes. It's a 15 strong violence. There is the back. Take the cover off. There is the cover side, and there is the back. And um, you have advertisement for the Batman Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad killed Justice League Gotham Nice. And then you have advertisement for Justice League Dark, Apocalypse War, The Flash, Justice Society, World War II, Batwoman, Man of Steel, and Batman vs. Superman, the 4K. The Ultimate Edition, and um, there is two discs. Um, this one, this two, basically it was four hour. The movie's four hours, so basically they put two hours on the first disc and two two hours on the second disc. So yeah, I love this movie. This is my favorite DC movie, and uh, for this great Zack Snyder, um, it's four hours. Uh, if you didn't like the 2017 one, you'll like this one. I recommend you pick it up. It's a great movie, and yes, yeah, so, as so, I so, said, then also in 2021 we had Suicide Squad, created by James Gunn. This is kind of a sequel, standalone, um, sequel to the first Suicide Squad, um, a James Gunn film. It's uh, five stars, 15. I love this picture. They have all of them there. Uh, there's the side. There is the back. 
this is what superhero film should be like really really fun one hell of a great time um it's on 127 minutes it's a 15 shown body violence gore language brief drug misuse and um so i saw this in the cinema and um i also saw birds of prey in the cinema i didn't see one of the 1984 in cinema and that's not just he wasn't in cinema so um it was the slip cover off the cover the back um, we have advertisement for the Batman, DC League of Super Pets, The Flash, and um, Black Adam. With Black Adam is coming out um, next week, Flash got pushed back to 2023. Super Pets actually came out today, actually. If you see this, this will be our Friday. By the time I upload this, it would already have been out. Um, and you have advertisement for Arrow, Batwoman, Watchmen, Pennyworth, Wonder Woman 1984, and Zazzle Jostly. And then here is the disc. So I saw this twice in the cinemas. I really loved it. I enjoyed it. It was entertaining. James Gunn really did a good job with this movie. It was way better than the 2016 one. I just love this one. Um, I hope we get a third one. We get a, another one. James, he did a great job with this. I love the characters. I thought the story was great. And um, yeah, you should I recommend you check. If you didn't like the 2016 one, you'll love this one. This one was great. I saw it twice in cinemas. This was a really good movie. So yeah. In 2022, we had Peacemaker. The complete first season. You have all the characters there. Um, so this is a spin off of um, The Suicide Squad's Features Peacemaker. Um, it's a 15. There is the side, there is the back. Uh, a gloriously goofy send off, and this sincere character study rolled into one. There is the back, there's the special features, it's on for 332 minutes. It's 15 very strong language, strong bloody violence, gore, sex, drug misuse. Um, take the slip cover off, there's the cover, there is the side, and there is the back. And then it just shows you some other four Ks you can get on Batman. Batman Returns, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, um, Green Lantern, Beware My Power, DC Legends Season Seven. There is the back, and then um, there's the other stuff: The Batman, um, Black Adam, and Shazam. It's just December, but it's been pushed back to March 2023. And then you get two discs. Um, they did this one out shows. Shows Peacemaker, shows him on top of the car, his pictures at the bottom, and then there's two. There's um there's eight episodes, there's four on each disc. So there's the episodes and there's the special features. And so yeah. I love this this show. I love Peacemaker. Um I was looking forward to the show. This one was really great, it was entertaining, the jokes were funny. I recommend if you love the Suicide Squad, you should check this out. Uh, it has been renewed. It's been renewed for a season two. Um, Jim's going to do great with this show. Um, it's been renewed for season two, which they will be filming in 2023. So yeah, so yeah, that is my DCEU collection. Um, Black Adam comes out next week. I'll be I'll watch that, um, and I will be doing a review on it. So yeah, that's my DCEU collection. Um, I just need to get this video out before Black Adam comes out, and it's been a year since I've done one. So yeah, so guys, thank you for watching my video. It's my next video. Bye. Comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite DC movie. My favorite is that size justly. So guys, I'm watching my videos for my next video. Bye.